Oh wow, this channel is pretty dead, isn't it? Oh, hi, I'm Dilmac, also known as Pez, and you may have known me from such iconic machinimas as Achievement Hall, with its wonderful grammar mistakes and blurry, shaky camera effects, because I tried way too hard to be Red Eye, because I couldn't be bothered to learn After Effects. Oh, I was just too nervous. Any excuse, here I am doing my university assignment, and guess what? This is all done in After Effects, so. <laughs> We've come full circle. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> now you're probably wondering, what is this new project that he's working on for his university assignment? Well, I'm going to be reviewing Handsome Video Game Man. Yes! <laughs> now you're probably wondering, who is he going to review first? It's probably something not too obvious, right? Probably not. Oh yeah, I'm reviewing Hanzo today. Yeah, it's a little bit too obvious, I think. <laughs> Let's go see why I love him so much, shall we? Hanzo Shimada is a 38-year-old Japanese man who is a damage-stealing hero in the video game Overwatch that is developed by Blizzard Entertainment. He uses his bow and arrows to deal damage to his enemy. He's kind of like a futuristic Cupid. He shot an arrow right into my heart. Now, you're probably wondering how I became so infatuated with Hanzo. Well, it started off way back when, when they started the beta test for Overwatch. I was invited and I decided to play with my friends, but we weren't really PvP sort of people. We were more RPG, MMORPG sort of people. But we gave it a try anyway, just to see how it's what it's like. When they first released that beta test, I just remembered it like it was just yesterday. Like I wasn't interested in PvP. I'm not into PvP or first person shooters. But I went to the website and I saw his pet. I saw everything else and I'm like, oh, he's so handsome. I read his backstory and he used to work for a crime syndicate for his family. And I'm not too sure if he is still a bad guy or has he become an anti-hero? Is he slowly becoming a hero? Let me know in the comments or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I'm like when, when I first saw his backstory my um, my friend was like oh Dylan's in love with a bad guy but I'm like no he's become good isn't he? You know? Maybe he's an anti-hero. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let me know. So you're probably wondering why I like him so much. I don't like him. I love him. Love him a lot. <sighs> that smile. The tattoo. His peck. I wish she was my boyfriend. I wish she was my boyfriend. I will. Oh. Sorry, I need a moment. Oh, okay, so I, I had a moment. I'm, I'm fine now. Okay, the Makanzo ship. I'm not here for it. Because I want Hanzo all to myself. Although the Makanzo ship is cute. But we all know what the real ship is. It's me and Hanzo. So I really needed to get some inside information as to why we love Hanzo so much. Because I'm probably not the only one. Maybe not to this level. But I think we all love Hanzo. So I wanted to interview a fan of Hanzo to get their perspective. But then I realized the conversation will go downhill. Because I'll get very jealous. Because I want Hanzo all to myself. So I interviewed the voice actor of Hanzo instead. Yeah, I interviewed Paul Nakuchi, the voice of Hanzo. <laughs> I wasn't nervous. Hi Paul, it's Spencer Halston at the University of Southern Queensland in Australia. How are you going? Great. Hey, I've got Dylan here. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you through the studio desk and then you'll be talking to Dylan McLaughlin and he'll be asking you some questions. I'm a professional. I wouldn't be nervous. Hello? Hello, Dylan, how are you? I'm, I'm oh God, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
This is a little bit too right. surreal, so I'm just trying to like. <laughs> oh wait, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need to like collect myself so I can do this. I was nervous. I was really nervous. I was giggly. I'm asking for a friend. So, what's your opinion on an Australian university student having a huge crush on Hanzo, but he doesn't really play Overwatch? <laughs> an Australian, I'm sorry that he has a crush on Hanzo and doesn't play Overwatch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, I understand. I mean, the character is, is really kind of, the way he's drawn, he's very, you know, very sexy. You know? <laughs> so, I certainly, I certainly get it. Yeah. I love a self-aware voice actor that knows that Hanzo is sexy. If you want to listen to the full interview, check out the link in the description to the Phoenix Media Podcast. Now, because this is a review, I should talk about my dislikes. And it's not about Hanzo himself. It's only because he's in a PvP video game. And I don't like PvP video games. He should get his own video game. He should also get his own movie. And I'm his love interest. And I just wish he was my boyfriend. No, he is my boyfriend. Get out of here, McCree. So what have we learned today? That I'm incredibly lonely. No, I'm not lonely. I have Hanzo. Yeah, Hanzo's my boyfriend. Because it's been too difficult to find a real boyfriend that, you know, I have Hanzo. Oh, Rares? I have lots of boyfriends. And that's why I want to do this series. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you all my boyfriends. And they're all canon. <laughs>